Okay, so let's talk about standards and units. So in physics, we conduct experiments and we do a lot of measurements, and all these measurements have to compare one with the other. So the units has to be standard. So we use SI units, international standard units. And there are fundamental quantities such as time, length, and mass. So those are fundamental quantities. That means we cannot.、Um, Represent these quantities with other quantities. So these are the basic one. You can break that down to use other quantities to represent these quantities. Okay. So these are the three fundamental quantities: are time, length, and mass. And their units is second in meters and kilograms. So how long is a second? And there are standards. Standards: the time required for this many cycles. Many cycles of Celsius microwave radiation. That that's a standard to determine how long a second is. Similarly, there's standard for to determine the length of a meter and standard to determine the mass of one kilogram. So physical dimensions units. The dimensions of physical quantity specifies what a, what a type of quantity it is. Such as is it length? Is it time? Is it mass? Is that force? Energy? What is it? Is that moment of inertia? What is it? Is that angle? And so forth. So these are the basic quantities, and these are we、uh, the quant the the symbols we use for dimensions: L for length, M for mass, T for time. We use brackets to indicate. These are represent dimensions. Sometimes you may not see bracket. You may just see capital L, capital M, capital T, and this is corresponding units. This is again basic units with corresponding basic dimensions with corresponding standard units, right? Or other quantities. It's called a derived or compound. Quantities can be expressed as combinations of fundamental dimensions or units using equations. We have to use equations to determine what is dimension for other quantities, such as the energy, such as the force, or、um, momentum, impulse, or all, all, all those things we learned last year. So to determine the dimension, we have to use math rules. So here are the math rules: quantities on the opposite sides of an equal sign must have the same dimensions. If a equals to b, then a must have the same dimension as b. Only quantities with the same dimensions can be added or subtracted. So in order to add b and c, b and c must have the same dimensions. So if b has a length of l. And C has the length of L. We add two quantities together, we get A. Then quantity A must have a dimension of L. So on this side, L minus L does not equal to zero. It's dimension of L, quantity with dimension of L, minus quantity with dimension of L. You get a new quantity with dimension of L. That's what it means. Okay. Dimensions of different quantities, or can be the same quantities, can be obtained by following general rules of algebra. That means if quantity a equals b times c, then what's the dimension of a? To determine the dimension of a, we just have to use dimension of b multiplied by dimension of c. That's just algebra. Right. If a equals b divided by c, then the dimension of a is just dimension of b divided by dimension of c. Using equation to find dimensions, let's take a look at the following example. What is the dimension of volume? First, we have to find the equation. Volume is length times width times height. What's dimensions for length? That's L. Dimension for width is L. Dimension for height is L. So dimension volume has to be L times L times L, which is L cubed. What are the dimensions for speed and acceleration? So, what is the equation for speed? Speed v equals d over t. So, what's the dimension for d? That's a length dimension. What's the dimension of t? That's a time dimension. So, dimension of speed is just dimension of length divided by dimension of time. So, in this case, I don't have bracket because it looks weird when I try to put brackets on there. How about acceleration? What is the equations for acceleration? Acceleration is change of velocity over time. Remember, we learned that last year. This change has no unit. It's also v f minus v i since the two have the same dimension v. When you subtract the quantities with same di same dimensions, you get the 
same dimension. So this has the same dimension as V. So what's the dimension of V? L over T. So it's L over T divided by T, that's L over T squared. And that's the dimension of L T squared. Okay. More examples. What are the dimensions and the units of impulse? So impulse, remember from the reference table, impulse is change in momentum. This delta change has no unit, right? It's just subtract. So it is M times the unit, uh, the dimension of mass times dimension of velocity. So we know dimension of mass is M, dimension of velocity is L over T. So the dimension of impulse is just M times L over T. What's the dimension of unit for work? This is the equation W equals FD. Ah, oh, by the way, here is the unit. So the unit for impulse is M is kilograms, length is meters, time is second. So it's kilograms times meters divided by second. So again, what's the dimension? of uh, and the unit for work. So here is the equation for work. We use this equation. We use uh, dimension of mass is kilograms. Dimension of acceleration. Acceleration is L over T squared. Dimension of distance, that's just L. So it is M. Dimension of M, this is dimension of acceleration, this is dimension of distance, so that becomes M times L squared over T squared. What's the unit? M, the unit for M mass is kilograms. Dimension for length is meter squared divided by second squared. All right, and that's, uh, that's that. Let's do some practice. So if S is the distance and T is time, what must be the unit? So this is talking about a unit. C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in each of the following equations. So I want you to try to do this on your own. Then see if you can compare with my answer. You can stop this video and see if you can uh, do it. So by the way, here is the answers. So as you can see, this is the same as algebra. In order to solve for C1, you have to use S divided by T. What's the unit for S? S since it's distance, it's meters. What's the unit for T? T is time, so its unit is second. So C1 is meters per second. Similarly, one half has no unit. C2 is S over T squared. S is meters, T is second, so it's a meter over second squared. Remember here, the arguments of any trigonometric, is sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, right? Has, or the power of E, or power of any number, must be dimensionless, right? So that means C4 times T has to be equals to 1, has no dimensions. C4 times T, T is S equals to 1, so C4 has to be 1 over S. C3, so that means meters equals to C3 times 1. Now C3 has to be meters. Similarly, E, uh, this one, to the power of C6 T squared, right? Power of E must be dimensionless. If dimensionless, it's just 1. So C6 times T squared has to be 1. Time is second. So C6 has to be 1 over second squared here. And S is C5 times T times 1. T is S, so C5 is M over S. That's it. All right, that's it for uh, this topic.